Greetings everybody, Michael and Peter here with GoodyMeter.com. Today we're going to evaluate the Firefox OS versus Android. We're going to check out the similarities, we're going to check out the differences, and give you a sense on what both OS's bring to the table. So let's go in for a closer look. This table. So of course we have the Firefox phone here and an Android phone here. We're basically looking just at the operating systems and how they're different from each other. Yeah, we're not going to show the quality of videos or anything like that because frankly this phone itself, not the OS, the phone is very low quality, very low specs and kind of like six years behind uh, in technology. So we have uh, similar kind of screens here. Um, everything on Android is mostly square or uh, bound kind of by a uh, square dimensions whereas everything on Firefox they're kind of going for a circular look you can tell the theme of everything they both still have the kind of drop down things from the top so you have access to the bars of pretty similar airplane things. mode Bluetooth you mm -hmm. know the standard things uh, if we go to settings we'll look at some of the things here they're a little bit similar in the layout they have uh, data connectivity up top then they go into personalization much like they do here and then they go into privacy and security much like they do here yeah and it's, very much uh, all their options are pretty well in sync right now when we got the ZT we're like oh man we gotta learn a new OS was very small learning curve from Android I mean it was it's almost identical I mean you can do long presses on apps Oh, uh, no, yeah. Oh, thanks. So, yeah, I mean, with Android, you can drag and drop things here in the bar on the bottom. You can do the exact same thing here on Firefox OS. Yeah. Um, let's take a look at the app markets because this is really where you're going to get all the new content. So, uh, Google Play and the, the Firefox uh, app store here. So, obviously, in terms of... Uh, the you know the amount of apps obviously Android's been around for mm -hmm. a really long time they have like a lot of apps whereas Firefox OS not a ton of apps but you do have things like Line and Facebook and Twitter and <laughs> SoundCloud you know the the essentials right. which is always good let's look at an app once we click on it to see the different layouts of purchase options so we have the screenshots they both have a uh, indication on how many shots there are description a bit of a rating system pretty similar pretty similar indeed yeah I mean it looks like Android but it isn't so it is still a uh, standalone OS. now one thing that you notice is that there's a back home and a multitask yeah. thing and there's only one button here on the ZTE so when you say go to settings and you click um I just hit up a display or something maybe notifications you see that um, in order to go back, there's a little tiny yeah. arrow here, and Sliver. that's what you have to touch. Otherwise, you can just like hit home. But and then close that bypasses it. all of the steps right. you've taken to get there. Uh, whether it's software driven, like my phone, where you press back, or it's like a Samsung Galaxy, where it has a dedicated back space to push. Um, Android always gives you the option to have a home button, have a back button, have a more or a multitask button. Whereas Android, they're kind of um, they're going the Apple approach and not having as many on-screen or physical buttons as possible. I think I did something to the screen to yeah, make it dark. Yeah, it was. Uh, you think you did an automatic display? So uh, it does have a light sensor for automatic display and um, all the usual things. Like uh, if you're not familiar with. OS's in general. I mean, they both share things like screen timeouts, uh, sound augmentation, um, you know, they have calendars and notepads and I mean, it's a new OS so obviously there isn't a lot to choose from now uh, and Android Marketplace has like a million apps or something so there's obviously more of a selection there. Yeah, I mean, this phone, as you see all the apps here, this is what comes preloaded mm -hmm. on the device. Now, it's very important to know that in order to get the most out of the ZTE phone, that you need an SD card. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, you can't take pictures, no. you can't listen to music, you can't watch videos, um, and you can't download any apps that do any of that. No, we couldn't even open the camera. It wouldn't even, not that you couldn't save it, didn't even open videos, didn't even open the camera app. It just yeah. said, it just it pro prompted you to put a card in, which was kind of weird and they don't give you a card in the box which is understandable because the phone is 60 something dollars 
unlocked. Right. Yeah. Uh, one of the cool things that I like about this phone is you can actually see apps here and launch them. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, the Guardian and it takes a while for it to load up. But it's basically when you scroll all the way to like the side, you can actually get a bunch of categories here like social, local, music and actually just install apps and listen to apps on the fly. Mm -hmm. So like Spotify, you know, uh, Gro Groove Shark. You see a lot of apps here, Last FM. You can just scroll up and, and things just keep, more things yeah, load. And, and that's cool because like in order to install things with Android, it's like you gotta open up Google Play. Yeah. You gotta like do all this stuff. Uh, with here, we haven't even registered this phone nope, to us. And nope. it's like, we can just install apps on the fly. Yeah, uh, it seems like the OS right now is pretty open. And obviously there will be things in later updates to make Firefox OS its own and make it kind of stand out amongst the rest. But right now it is very bare bones. There are almost no phones other than the ZTE that actually have the Firefox experience on it. And unfortunately, the phone is so out of date and old, it doesn't really engage you because things are hard to press. It's hard to go back. It's hard to type. The screen is very sticky. It's a very grippy glass. So I'm not really having fun with the Firefox OS because of the phone. It's yeah, on. I mean, it's a small screen. Yeah, um, it's it's yeah, there's a death depth. depth Problem. Yes, exactly. Uh, but other than that, I mean, it's a cool OS. I, I wouldn't use this as a primary phone just because, like, look how screen the small it. The, small like the how, screen like, is, yeah. Yeah, it, like even compared to my iPhone. My iPhone is bigger than yeah. that. And so going from a world of large screens and phablets and, you know, five inch phones and Galaxy Notes, yeah. it would be hard to kind of go to this phone. You're very but it limited. would be a good starter phone for, say, your kid. Yeah, you know, exactly. It's safe. There's not a lot of like malware on this. There's not a lot of adult content the on phone here. Is, and like 60 bucks. It's 60 bucks. Doesn't matter if you break it. And, and for developers, I mean, this is the portal to, to get your Firefox experience because it's the only one out there right now. But if you want to know what the Firefox experience is all about, watch our videos, read our articles because that will give you a good idea i wouldn't honestly recommend um the average consumer to go out and buy this phone it, i think it'll kind it's of just the novelty it'll hurt you more than anything and it'll i think it would turn you off from firefox because although we see promise in the future right now it's not that fun of an experience yeah well i mean as a developer tool you don't want anything sold for exactly expensive. you know yeah. you want it as cheap and cheerful as possible Absolutely. which i think this accomplishes so yeah. uh you've been watching uh os comparison android and firefox os drop a comment below let us know your thoughts do you think firefox has potential uh how do you feel that it's uh, developed and how did how's this phone uh for goodyreader.com it is michael this is peter everybody take care not a fan of the zte open as a device but i am a fan of firefox os because it has potential as of right now doesn't look that great but it does have potential it could be one of the next big OS's. It could be considered one of the big ones. So when people say, hey, you know, Android, iOS, Blackberry, Firefox could be kind of the norm in a little while. They just need some refinement, but everything's there for them to kind of take off. They just have to go in the right direction. Keep watching our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash goody reader. If you're watching this on another channel, 850 plus videos on that channel, lots of giveaways, fielding requests every day. Keep on watching. Thanks. Thanks a lot.